Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have m cubed plus m equals to 68 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here uh, first we focus on the right hand side and we have 68. So uh, here we rewrite this 68 as in this form m cubed plus m. So this is 64 and we write it as 68 we write it as 64 plus 4 we know that 64 plus 4 is equals to 68 and after that uh, here we move both of these two terms in the left hand side so now uh, this is plus 64 and plus 4 when we move in the left hand side these both terms becomes negative and we write it as minus 64 minus 4 equals to 0 and now further in the next step uh, we have uh, uh, here we make the pair of uh, this cubic term uh, with this term and it is written as m cube minus 64 and we make the pair of this m with minus 4 and it is written as m minus 4 equals to 0 and now here uh, we write uh, this uh, factor into the cubic form so we write it as m cube minus we write the 64 as 4 cubed plus m minus 4 equals to 0. so in the next step here we need uh, the nice cubic formula and you know about this formula if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so here we use this nice formula to the above equation so that our uh, above equation is written as after applying this formula in the first term so we have m minus 4 into m square plus m into 4 plus 4 square and we have the remaining term is plus m minus 4 and this is equals to 0. So here you focus on uh, all of these terms and you see here we have m minus 4 be the common factor so that here we take common m minus 4 and the remaining terms are m square plus 4m plus this 4 square becomes 16 and here we take common m minus 4 and we get plus 1 and this is equals to 0. So further in the next step here we need uh, some simplification so here we add or subtract the like terms uh, so we have m square plus 4m plus 16 plus 1 is 17 and this is equals to 0 so now we convert this equation into the two cases so that our first case is we take m minus 4 equals to 0 and the second case is we take m square plus 4 m plus 17 equals to 0 so here uh, in the first case we easily get the value of m is equals to 4 so this is the our first real solution of the given equation and now in order to find the other solutions of the given equation we need to solve this quadratic equation uh, so if you focus on the given equation we have uh, the given equation is of uh, degree 3 uh, so because its degree is 3 it means that this equation has three roots so but here for uh, here we find only one root and uh, we need to find the other two roots from this quadratic equation so now first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to 4 and c equals to 17. And now we write our quadratic formula in this form m equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a b and c in this nice formula so here we have minus b and the value of b is 4 
and plus minus square root of b square so b is 4 square minus 4 times of ac a is 1 and c is 17 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is also 1 so now we need a more simplifications and uh, we write this equation as minus 4 plus minus this is 4 square becomes 16 minus 4 times of 17 is equals to 68 and its whole square root divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2. So now in the next step here we need some simplifications and we have m equals to minus 4 plus minus so 16 minus 68 uh, is equals to minus 52 and it is divided by 2. So now we write our answer into the simplified form so here uh, we focus on this square root term and it is written as minus 4 plus minus we write this minus 52 as uh, 13 times of 4 we know that 13 times of 4 becomes 52 and here we separate the square root of minus 1 and this is divided by 2. So uh, further in the next step here we need more simplifications and we have minus 4 plus minus here we know that the square root of uh, 4 is equals to 2 into square root of 13 and we know that uh, the square root of minus 1 equals to iota and this is divided by 2. So uh, here uh, we need to uh, uh, make more simplification so now here we break this fraction and we write it as minus 4 over 2 plus minus 2 into square root of 13 divided by 2 into iota. Uh, so here we cancel these terms. So we have this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and we get minus 2 plus minus. This 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get uh, square root of 13 into iota. So you see here these two roots are the complex roots. So uh, here uh, finally we have the three roots of the given equation are the first root is m1 equals to 4 the second root is m2 equals to minus 2 plus uh, square root of 13 iota and the third root is m3 equals to minus 2 minus square root of 13 into iota. So this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.